these, these three are Millie. If he'd known how quickly he'd lose her. He's just happy. He's just happy. Bret Hart would have taken more pictures of Millie. She's so mellow and kind and polite. The brindle boxer he rescued from the sidewalk. I was coming up the sidewalk, the street, to come home. And I saw the dog laying in the sidewalk. And she was so small and sickly looking, and she had mud, dried mud on her lips. Brett says he paid a man experiencing homelessness $400 for the dog that had been living at a camp near 13th and Logan. And he took the money gladly. Brett took Millie home, but days later, he ran into the previous owner. And he said, hey, I've been looking for you. I, I want to buy my dog back. Brett declined, said, but offered to bring Millie back so the man could say goodbye. At the camp, he says he was jumped and attacked from behind. And I don't know if he kicked me or pushed me, or, but whatever he did, he hit me hard from behind and knocked me down. He kicked me in the back, he kicked me in the stomach, he kicked me uh, probably three or four times. Someone took Millie. Uh, I called the cops right there in front of everybody. Denver police took the report last week, but haven't made an arrest. I didn't have the information I should have had. Brett shared his story with neighbors on next door. I, I just don't even know how to thank them. And the offers to help brought him to tears. It literally made me cry. My phone would go off and I would just cry because uh, I just didn't think anybody would care. Who does that? Who does that for somebody they don't even know? You know, gets up early before they go to work just so they can go walk and see if they can see your dog. I mean, wow. Millie is still missing, but it's not lost on Brett. His neighbors care. And that's, uh, that's worth everything. Noel Brennan, 9 News. Brett says he didn't go to the hospital for his injuries. Denver police tell us that investigation is still open.